Let's say that you have created a final scene for render, but you want to give it some life by adding a character. In this very simple tutorial, I will show you how to add to your project a character, free and fast, with high quality of animations. So, you will start by going to the Google, type in Mixamo. Here you will have to sign up for an account. It's free, it's totally free here. I will sign in with my Google account. After you will sign in, you will have access to a lot of characters and animations. You will see in a moment what I'm talking about. Here you have two sections, characters and animation. First, we will have to select one character, any, any of those characters you can select. Let's go here with Sophie. You will select the character. After that, it's, uh, it's very important to download the character in typos. Okay, as it is here, as you can see, we will just wait to load the textures and everything, and you will download it as typos. You will download it on your desktop or wherever you want. After the download, one moment. Okay, very important here. It's better to save under a name that you will remember. I will save it as Tipo's Skeleton. SKL. Okay, I will save it. I will go to my desktop. First, I will create a folder here. I have a folder already prepared where I will put my character because this will bring all the texture and everything else with it. Okay, so let's see. I have the character here on my desktop. Let's just drag it now in the Unreal, in our folder. Here, just see the settings that I have on screen. Okay, so we will have to import the skeleton mesh and so on. Okay, just follow the settings and you should not have any problem. Let's import this. Uh, this will take some time, depending on your computer. But after you import this, you will have all the texture, the skeletal, the, rig the rigging of the skeleton, everything is in place, as you can see in here. But you still don't have any animation. So let's take this character and let's place it in our scene. Just one moment. So you will just take the skeleton mesh okay just drag it out rotate it as you want where you want to put it in your scene okay the scale also if it's too small or something you can adjust it easily you will see a little bit later so right now if we go in our sequencer you see we have the we have our character but it's not moving so let's go back to aria to mixamo and let's find some animation so you will go to animation tab Let's find some dance or some movement, okay? You can select any of these and later even you can add some more or all of them even. So let's select this. You can select any settings here. And now, very important here, when you download the animation, you will select without skin because you already downloaded the typos with skin, rig, skeleton, mesh, everything else. You just want the animation right now. So. Let's say the animation, we'll save it on desktop. We will go back to our desktop. Let's see where is our animation. Yes, it's here, hip hop. We will drag it to Arial. Here, very important, you will have to select the correct skeleton. We have the typo skeleton for our animation because if you mess this up, it will not work and the rest just import it as it is. After you will import this, our character will have this animation available for use, as you will see in a moment. Let's wait to load. After the animation is loaded, we will have to go to our sequen sequencer and add the character, just like that. After you load the character, you can load the animation. I will just load the animation. I will extend the animation. And as you will see in a moment, 
After that, you can control the animation frame by frame. If you will have some more animation, here will be the list with all the animation that you downloaded from Mixamo. And as you can see here, the character is moving. You can change the position of the character. You can change the time frame of uh, the animation. You can move the animation where to start and all this control you will have it in the se sequencer for your character. If you will want some other animation to add in your scene, you will have just to go back to Mixamo. So if you will go back to Mixamo, you have access to hundreds and hundreds of other animation that you can download and add to your character. As simple as we've done it just before. As you can see here, you have many, many, many animation. Very hard to replicate in Maya or in many other software. Okay, hope you enjoy it. And here is the final render of this scene.